Hello there, Shailene here with another video. For this week's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit out of the ordinary from my normal video format. I wanted to share with you my journey of how I became a full-time artist. So I grew up surrounded by art. My mom was a florist, my dad was a musician, my grandma on my mom's side was a painter, and then on my dad's side, both of his grandparents were artists as well. So a lot of my early memories involved music, art, or creativity in some form. And I had very little hesitation when it came to creativity. And I think having it modeled for me at an early age was a huge gift. As a teenager, I started making music and I formed a band with my sister called Poema. We wrote music together for eight years and we were signed to a Seattle label called Tooth & Nail Records. We traveled all over the country and it was a really amazing and exciting time in my life. And it finally led us to move away from our home state of New Mexico to Nashville, Tennessee in 2013. Long story short, in 2016, we finally both came to the realization that we weren't really finding joy in it anymore and we decided that maybe we would rather be sisters than working business partners. So she moved to Portland and I continued living in Nashville. And for the first time in my life, I was kind of on my own. I was living away from my family and away from my sister who was really my life partner up until that point. And I was really able to ask myself what it was that I wanted to spend my life doing. And I was very fortunate that I felt like that answer was really easy. And I, I realized that I had spent so much of my free time painting for years. It was always my go-to hobby. I loved to just grab my notepad and paints whenever I was watching a movie or if I just had any free time. So I decided that I would try to see if it was possible to make it into something more, maybe start making money from it. And so once I decided to give it a try, I took a few steps. I created a simple, simple website on Tumblr. I started sharing some more paintings on my Instagram. I started listing a few pieces of art on Society6. And almost every single day I would make time to paint and find little things I could do to work on my new business. I went to the county clerk and I got a business license, which was actually easier than I expected. I watched YouTube videos, listened to podcasts. I listened to audiobooks on business and personal development. And I remember I also did a 30 day painting a day challenge in the beginning of 2017. So I was really pushing myself to grow and grow as, both as an artist and as a business owner. And the amazing thing is that as I did those things, as I began to educate myself and to put in the hours to hone in on my skills as an artist and my style, I started to see a slow return on that investment. People started following along on Instagram. I began to see a few art sales trickle in just for prints, some sales on Society6. And when people began to even ask me to make them custom artwork. It all happened gradually, but I found that the more I showed up, the more I kept learning, the more I kept sharing what I was painting, the more results I began to see. So my advice for artists who are just getting started is to learn from other business leaders. I love listening to podcasts while I paint. I've learned so much from other business owners. And as a side note, there are so many YouTube channels, podcasts, audiobooks. I'll include a couple of my favorites down in the description, but I'm sure a quick Google search would bring you some great places to start. I would also encourage you to avoid comparing yourself to others. I know it's hard, but focus on what makes your art unique and hone in on your unique style and your unique touch. Everyone starts at the beginning of their own journey. Everybody knows what it feels like to be discouraged at times. Being an artist can have some serious ups and downs, but I really think you're gonna make it all the more difficult when you compare yourself to others on a consistent basis. So try and avoid that. Don't compare your beginning to someone else's middle. I heard that quote when I was first getting started and it was a huge encouragement to me. Lastly, just get out there and start trying things out. Consistently share your art, even if you feel like what you're sharing is just your learning process. I think people will find you and connect with you wherever you're at in your journey. Just be relentlessly consistent with sharing your art Keep growing, keep learning, and I know you'll find your way. I hope you enjoyed this painting time-lapse and my backstory and encouraging soapbox moment. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because that really helps other people find my videos here on YouTube. And I'll be honest, I could use all the help I could get. So thanks for that. I will see you next time in my next video. Bye-bye.